So this the week this week has been through a lot of collaboration I don't buy Kaja. So guys today if you want to stay and chit chat with me it's a lot of rumble and i suffered a lot guys this is my airbnb i have seen a lot of airbnb host horror experience this is my airbnb guest horror experience i'm the host and i've got an horror experience from from that and a lot of update i've been through a lot guys so if you want to see that and if you like this kind of chicha story time my update i'm actually in my <laughs> i've just come back from malindi i'm in nairobi right now so yeah don't forget to like comment and subscribe and let me know down below what has been your horror story if you are a host let me know down below and i did this makeup look i tried the inglot foundation i tried also this eye that's on my eye follow through get to know as we get ready and i'll i'll, uh, I'll list all the makeup swipe swipe like this guys welcome back to my youtube channel today i'm just gonna be sitting down i've come back from my lindy and i'm in nairobi actually on my airbnb but there's a lot going through and i have a lot of update and i'm gonna be doing that while i'm doing my makeup as i talk to you what has been happening in my life a lot a lot has happened uh yeah and the reason why you are zoomed in is because I'm using my my Canon EOS M50 with my 50mm lens. <coughs> it's a zoom lens. All of them will be linked on the description below. Before you all come out for me, there's some people who like coming out for me. Let me let me see if I can tenganiza myself quick. So I'm gonna use this uh, lip gloss so that I know my lips are ashy <laughs> yeah so just I'm fresh from Malindi actually and I'm back at my Nairobi apartment if you guys watch my videos you'll you'll see I always explain I did not like literally move out but was uh yeah I don't I did not literally move out I just had a guest so this is the thing when i have a guest that's when i take the time to travel around or sometimes i just yeah do that so today i'm going to be reviewing this inglot and i'm still taking the online classes so online makeup academy classes and today we're going to review this is gonna be my first time wearing inglot perfect cup up foundation shout out to online makeup academy for sending me this pr and it's in the shade 86 and 87 so i'm gonna try and hopefully i will find my perfect match because they said uh, uh i learned this through the class that i'm a neutral i think you can see the my calendar that's my calendar here after the gmail that's 9 9 july a lot has been going on in my life things are changing and i was actually like playing with the idea because i like going to places as i told you i'm a nomad traveler right now being a nomad traveler is meaning like uh when i travel to a place i want to stay more so i was to stay in malindi for three months but something because the airbnb guest i had had booked for three months but i'll let you know what happened guys there's a lot of things there's like if you want me to do like airbnb stories my my first guest my first client there's a tea on that story time story airbnb horror host story times let me know in the comment section the tone yes the undertone for foundation that i should go more for neutral and cooler shades yes that's the thing i'm a neutral and cooler shades so yeah before we go on they also sent this but actually i have already the fenty beauty the fenty beauty nutmeg foundation 
and uh, it's still full i'll try it out yeah so this one is for sale the next one this one so if you want it contact me on the number down below it's I haven't opened it capsa it's still intact i've not used it so if you want it i'm selling it at one thousand bob i'm just selling it just to cover the cost for shipping so yeah so i'm selling it for one thousand and it's in the it's a setting powder can't stop food stop from nyx professional makeup and it's in the shade medium dark so if you want it holler at me on the hyper hyper so guys okay a lot has happened i am not a good storyteller but i'm gonna try and tell my story i was going to stay in malindi for a lot of time but guess what happened <laughs> you know where the place where i live i know most of you already know where i live junko mkwadaku that way <laughs> just kidding oh my mkwadaku that way but it's not bad so the thing is the place where i'm renting <sighs> they just gave us an email notice that airbnb has been evicted like where what, what did they say yeah like they don't want to i'll be like if you're a tenant do not under under let under what something like that so my my like at the way the business is going well i was paid three months so i have to come and sort that thing so uh, that issue and the thing is imagine they want like oh my god like Kenyan sometimes some people Kenyans you like stealing ideas from other people so if you are running an Airbnb thank God me the, the way I'm running the Airbnb is also where I live so so the thing that um, if you are running an Airbnb you have to vacate the apartments because they want let me see let me see the message they sent us they sent us a letter termination for all underletting ventures of course that's the airbnb so where i live people like i don't know how it went viral but people like started this uh, this as a, a venture so many people took their apartments they don't live there but they took apartment and they rent it out to airbnb <laughs> so they said as you're working to enforce the revised tenancy agreement we are stopping all forms of underletting across all our apartments with the aim of improving your experience and creating a space where you can be belong become we are stopping all forms of underletting across all our apartments this is following the three months notice that we had issued to all recognized and registered airbnbs can let sure you move out before the 31st of august and notifies us through the email address they gave us 30 days prior to the vacation so my airbnb lighting in nairobi is on it's not i'm going to i'm trying to figure it out because uh where i live like it's like a um, units of apartments and each unit uh and each unit belongs to different each unit belongs to different uh landlords i don't know if if you are really getting me and they are over like there are, there are so many there are th three blocks yeah there are three blocks so some units belong to different uh different landlords and some landlords are, are under and are different there are two like two or three agents i believe so so different the one i am in the agent has like they don't want people to rent to underlet or any kind of that and there's this other agent on the same building because landlords are different and the different landlord goes to different agents so there's agent a agent b and agent c so agent b and c they are not like they are still allowing airbnb rentals and what i had kumbe is they want you to move so that they can like the agents can come and take the repossess the house so that they can do the business themselves unaona do you see it hey watch out so i'm um, currently if you know where i live and if you are a landlord where i live could you please rent me because i'm a really good tenant guys i'm a really good tenant and then they increase the rent guys they increase no they say they uh, they increase the service 
the service charge so my rent is increased guys you know the, the apartment i'm living in if it was in malindi i would be living in the the, the beautiful and bedroom astra heights huh? it's only because astra heights when when i was going to search astra heights i was actually gonna move in malindi and i was actually choosing the astra astra heights if you haven't watched that video watch it like there are two previous videos from this one there's this building called astra heights guys it's legit the best it's more beautiful than this one's more spacious that one bedroom the price for that one bedroom is the price i'm paying for this bed sitter and you can imagine the other one is near beach near what 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 so i'm thinking i'm thinking a lot i am actually like the place is full the astra heights is full my lady it's fully booked so what i'm thinking is I, i've just been listed yeah i've been listed by the landlord of astra heights when there is an available when there's available what when there is available okay. when there is available vacancy because it's fully booked guys you guys call me asking you wanting to know if it's uh there but it's fully booked guys completely booked so this is inglot shade shade 87 and this is shade 86 86 and this is 87 so i'm gonna try it i think actually because i was shocked when it doesn't come with the pump so i can't use the pumping thing that was shocking to me i was discovering i don't know why so i can't like do this it can't come out so i have to to try to this is it i and this foundation has a has a has a fungus has a fungus to it oh so we, i will have to be pouring and me pour me yaki what this is shade 87 so i'm gonna try it out so this is shade 87 shade 87 let me see it and then this is shade 86 fuck this is karibisha that's how many review i'm going this is shade 86 which is more closer to me which is more closer to my tone let me do down in down in the section below gonna be faster now just gonna use the akila on make and make up like today i'm gonna blend until so i'm gonna blend this <laughs> wow mm -hmm. so that's my dilemma that i have right now i'm gonna use 87 for today because I feel like I've had a turn. So that's my dilemma, guys. Yeah. So other people are still renting out. So I didn't. Uh, the one I have, the manager, I I am the agent that manages this my landlord. Is not allowing Airbnb. So that's one of my income. One of my income is literally like gone, but I'm gonna find a way. Mm. So the thing is, where I live, they have they have a building. I don't know if I'm saying too much or not. So the thing is, where I live, I have, they are they have like uh, they are a management company that sell uh, apartment units yes so they, they have another one just near where where i live and what i'm doing is i'm hoping this video goes viral because 
a studio apartment like this one goes for 1.6 when you're buying it goes for 1.6 million guys hmm? 1.6 million Kenya shillings so that's like 10,000 mm, 16,000 USD imagine guys and I've seen people that's why I was so bummed up when my video that had 3.5 million when it got such less money not even a thousand usd so and and us and the us residents <laughs> people with a very following with us uh, audience when you get a million views you can have up to like you can buy the apartment to get ten thousand really yeah if you have like three oh, how will I do with this? <laughs> this is called the foundation is uh don't watch it guys. It's perfect cover up foundation. That's what it's called. And it's I've seen it, it's uh thirty-eight dollars in stores. So imagine if I can afford this the the, the apartments are for her. If you want to see if you want more about that you can conquer guys let me blend this first because shit you know i live if you're landlord here please please you just i don't know i'm kind of bummed out so i'm actually gonna have to move out and find somewhere else because you guys know airbnb is one of my other income so i may have may have or may have not gotten another apartment in malindi <laughs> I would tell uh, I would tell a lot until 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 like I don't know I didn't show that one the one like in Malindi I didn't I didn't want to show I can't show everything guys because not everyone that follows me is a K type they are K type then they are viewers then they are fans so my K type community they, they always want the best for me but not every viewer has good intentions right so yeah I can't reveal much but to this one the one you know kind of bummed out about it but I'm, I'm like I've let it go I've let God deal with everything like if it happens if they fix it all right well and good if they don't if i have to move out well and good so that's how i am right now you face stress and if it happens it happens if it's not happening it's not gonna happen it's how i feel everything is for a reason and I see this is a KK apartment so yeah I kind of like this place but you know guys so I'm working on being more consistent on YouTube and when I mean consistent I mean more than three videos a, a week and at least one or two lives in a week 
because when you show up on youtube it doesn't matter how many views you have youtube rewards you you see the your adsense your earnings going up yeah so i wanna go back to being consistent on youtube and because if we are having elections so most of uh businesses people who are in businesses are holding up investing until the elections are over we are in july elections are next month so many people are just holding and the guest also there's no akuna guest wengi right now because people fear election there's a fear about election and people investing because you don't know how it will go it's really sad so yeah tourist and hospitality industries really suffer during election because people hold on coming to to the country until they can be sure everything is going perfect yeah hmm. Kura yako siri yako. So right now I'm just kind of waiting on things. So I'm waiting on election to pass by. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what's going on with your life, guys? How is everything? And then when I come back from like vacation back to normal routine i kind of feel like sad like i feel i should be booking another like place to go yeah. i have this trick of just using the same foundation i'm using to clean up my eyebrows good so that's the update with me i've been going through a lot because then i ended up like losing an income for two months because if they found you you're doing um airbnb you're going to be thrown out so i had to i had to do that so i don't know i don't know what what as what other things they want to say there's something I wanted to say and I've forgotten. What have I forgotten? I'm gonna use shade 99. Do I use shade 99 or shade 98? Guys, do you like this kind of makeup videos? Let me know. While you cheat down and cheat, do you like them? Okay, so this is shade. I've decided to go with shade 99. What am I doing? What am I doing? <laughs> Draw an F. I thought this TikTok. So this is still their ink lot under eye concealer in the shade 99. Yeah, Guys, this is not a tutorial. I'm just doing things. I'm just doing my thing. <sighs> Guys, are you ready? I tell you the story. 
uh, my first airbnb my first airbnb horror story it was a horror story guys my first airbnb guest horror story hey guys me i've gone through a lot with this airbnb guys if you want to run an airbnb first consider having a very good skill of communication because that's the part that is the most challenging hey these people can stress you some guests are nice they're like angels and then there's some other guests that are straight how do you say straight abuse <laughs> yes my first day I've been big guests and and literally I'm really good with online businesses guys it's just that I want capital to invest more on this Airbnb guys eh? I'm really good at these online businesses why my first I I listed I just took pictures my phone and said okay let me it was June last year I took pictures with my phone and I said okay let me let me just try I before that I've been like uh, managing other people's yes I do that also I do that service so if you have a home and you want to rent it out and you don't want to deal with the customer you just want to see the money I'm the girl for you I manage I'm a property <laughs> like I do all those things like I create your Airbnb and talk to the client and manage them up to the time of checking booking check-in and check-out and doing also nini all that i do that so i was i was at my job it was around 2015 i was working in the casino and i did a side hustle my my like my friend at the time 2015 my friend was a real estate uh agent so he used to manage lots of houses in Kilimani, upper upper hill kisuri so i told him there are fully furnished apartments yeah things like that da, 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 da. so i told her like the, this this because when i met my boyfriend i also have another story <laughs> i don't know i don't know if i should tell you this story time that i met sir like my boyfriend my second boyfriend yeah my ex <laughs> I don't know how to, to say it. This, wow. <laughs> There's so much tea. Okay. So uh I came to learn about it. I've been been through my 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 boyfriend and then <laughs> he was a foreigner, the boyfriend, he was a foreigner. So I came to learn about it. I've been through him because we booked an air he told me to look for houses and like I came along Airbnb. That's why I told you I'm really good at. I'm really good at. I'm seeing a lot of tea, guys. Oh, there's so much you don't know about Kemuto, guys. <laughs> so I get to know about Airbnb through my, but my foreign boyfriend. I'm not gonna say the boyfriend if he's white or whatever. That's not the point of this video. If you want that story time, let me know. Let me know in the comment section below if you want that story time. Of how we met so my foreign boyfriend but for now uh the story is yes that's how i came about airbnb and then when i was working the casino and i had this uh, like my friend managing like he, he was a real estate agent and he managed lots of houses in kisuri to limani along gong road all of it so I saw he had furnished apartment and I tried and did a video. There's a video I did about house hunting here in this channel like over five years ago. Go and check that out. So uh, I, w I told him, uh, why don't we put this furnished apartment? I took the pictures <laughs> with my stupid Microsoft phone, guys. Do whatever you have to do at whatever pace you have to do. Like do, do what's needed to be done, you know. What am I even saying? So I told him, let me take pictures and uh, because it was a furnished service apartment and they only knew about thinkbooking.com or something like that. So I told him, let me put these pictures online and then he knew the owners and the land owners. So and I'll be getting a commission. So this guy used to pay me 500 Kenya shillings for every guest they book. Me, I thought, ah, this is Kunyanyaswa, but I didn't, I, I didn't, 
I didn't see chatting as anything because I took it as like chatting with the customer. I didn't know my walls at that time. But at least I skilled. I sharpened my skill of communications with with guests, with clients. So I used to manage the Airbnb and book the clients. Like I was like literally a virtual assistant. So I used to book clients like that. And I made this person over like within uh, two months, three months, I made I made this person and it was a two bedroom or a one bedroom like literally i made him uh four thousand euros i remember very well like i can't forget that's like over 400 like half a million in kenyan shillings so i made him so i knew there is money there but i didn't have i didn't afford to even like rent out so i knew a lot about airbnb so i didn't at that time five years ago i didn't afford to have a like a apartment on my own living alone so i used to live with my sister so i knew one day i'm gonna like afford an apartment like to rent up an apartment and do it so thank god thankfully last year i managed to do that and with like i like having several streams of income you see even five years ago i used to be like do it part-time whatever whatever so i knew i'm gonna i'm gonna How do these people do this? I'm gonna like when one day I afford to have my own apartment. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna be doing that. You know. I'm gonna be like I'll have my apartment. I'll rent my apartment and have like that. People don't know about Airbnb, but Airbnb actually is. The thought is like, yeah, for cheaper. It's more cheaper. Than, oh my god, I don't know. My thoughts are everywhere. How do people do this? I'm trying to break my under eyes. So I knew that. So thank God, uh, after five years of waiting to have my own apartment, the year in Kapata, like last year, when I moved in this apartment. So I said, okay, I was not ready yet because I didn't even have a working space yet. Even now, I don't have even a working space. But I said, Tajipanga too. Not to the Japan, because I'm a June last year, June was on my birthday. I said, Oh, by the way, let me try it. Even if it's if uh, my apartment is far from from town, it's like 30 minutes 30 when it's 30 20, 20 minutes drive to Nairobi CBD. So I said, Let me take pictures. I took like pictures with my phone and post like put my description and all that on airbnb wow within two, one day <laughs> i got my first client so and it was a somali a somali i have to say it i'm not being racist or whatever but i have to say it hey <laughs> you know i used to hear on landlords especially my real estate friend that's why i like i used to hear like oh hey, jichunge sanana Somali. I'm sorry if you're Somali, but <laughs> so my real estate friend used to say that the worst tenants to ever have is Somalians. List down below. So I got my first Airbnb client. <laughs> And he booked for two weeks and i was renting at 25 dollars a night 25 usd dollars a night and he booked for two weeks and you know my house was not like if you see my house it was not yet ready so disaster cool thing and it was from london i saw his profile he was from london so i said eh, so money from london at least i clean me open up hey <laughs> I was wrong. She does Lianza from the airport. He called me like the he is a new stance. He involved him. I think it was his uh, side chick. Because he booked for only one person, but he came him side chick to do uh I, I don't know like a son or I don't know if it's a son or nephew, I don't know. The nephew also had a woman. So they all of them, my space is a 250 square meters. 
so they thought they are gonna stay in my like four of them my maximum guests i allow limit is two it's like it's small so it's reasonable right i've said it's a studio so they started like when they started they checked in they started we surround is the ganza we surround is the ganza watch any quantum i want to talk in swahili because it's only in india the students are like swahili okay so girl if i'm still on daughter i'm talking okay where are we gonna put our clothes where's the extra bread you say this place is uh, it has like it only has one bed one room how can we all stay here where, 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 where you know this is our house and we're going to throw all your things outside because this is that we we rented this hey like in the she does she does and in the headache headache they were so dirty i'm not saying all, all somali but i'm saying my experience with this somali they were so dirty i had a cleaner so the cleaner comes with airbnb cleaning if you want daily cleaning you have to pay it that's an extra cost you incur yourself but for the rate I was charging, I was doing cleaning, like uh, I was offering cleaning only after the third night. Yeah. So my cleaner used to come in and say, Can we talk this before I disturb me? This before I miss us. Imagine cleaner, security. I got calls from security from who they were complaining, complaining, they were complaining, and they were so dirty. That's why I've not even buy a rag up to now because I have these little rags. They used to mud and you know where i live is where the mud is mudding the soil is mudding the soil oh, watch out. it's the red soil yeah so you they used to work with the soil they were so dirty my cleaner complained until my cleaner when i had my second guest my cleaner was saying oh please i hope it's not like those so much they really disturbed me they were complaining about every every single day they 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 do what they and i have another story time i have had amazing airbnb guests amazing but i have had two two worst huh? i've had a somali a nigerian a kenyan but uh uh diaspora a kenyan but a diaspora he lives in yeah i don't want to reveal information so as i want to so i've had the privilege of hosting many people and they've really been good guests and they've given me good reviews and some they don't like giving reviews because they just want to, they don't want to be they don't want to be private yes that's the thing so why well, they were hectic they were hectic and i have another one whoa, 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 watch out. i had to report him he was bullying me left and right like complete bullying because he even cancelled like he checked in this is another one he was i don't know i don't know where he was from i think he was south african or i don't know he was complete racist complete racist like he even said i think he i don't know i think he was a south african but i may be wrong but he resides in his profile he said he's in uh dubai Right from start, he booked my Airbnb. Then, uh, before he booked here, he asked about my cancellation policy. So my cancellation policy then was flexible. But now, since that experience, I've made it st more strict, stricter to avoid scams. It was literally a scam. I'll tell you why he was a scam. So he ch before he checked in, he asked about my cancellation. One day before he checked in also, he asked me about, he, he was booking for one week. So he asked me about, he also asked me about my, do I have a mosquito guy? I've listed everything, what I have, what I do not have. Where I live, there's no mosquitoes. They, they have like, I don't know, they, they fumigate or something like that. There's no mosquitoes here where I live. So there's no necessary for a mosquito. I told him, no. Do you have a working space? No. When he checked in, he immediately cancelled and requested to have all his money. My cancellation policy was full refund. So the thing is with Airbnb, when you cancel a reservation, you have to vacate the, the, the listing immediately. This person, can you guess, he refused. He refused to vacate my premises. 
Can you imagine? I had to involve security. And he stayed here three nights. He refused. He said he booked here. He has no anywhere else to go. So he's staying here. And he already had said, like, he doesn't have mosquito net. It's not, like, clean. You know, this guy brought in a side chick. They, like, you, I don't know if you remember, there was this here. I said I had the, the she's who are staying with the period blood. Imagine he bets my, he, he, he brings in holes. It's holes because it was different girl every night. He stayed for three nights. He refused to check out completely. And me, I was in Oshago. I wasn't about going to come and deal with this uh, nigga. So me, I reported him in the Airbnb app and the Airbnb returned returned me my money. That's the thing about I love about Airbnb. So he stayed here three nights and he lied, he only stayed one night, but he stayed three nights, had to had to show the security camera that to prove that he stayed here for three nights, but he was lying that he stayed only one night. And then I knew right away he's gonna write a bad review for me. He was really dirty, he he stained like he was the, the sheets with period bloods. There was period everywhere, like, and I had a cleaner, guys. I had a cleaner, and it was disgusting. I didn't even let the cleaner clean the bed sheets because I felt like, oh, this cleaner is gonna think because <sighs> this cleaner is gonna think like I was so embarrassed. I didn't want even to give up the laundry because at that time I didn't have a washing machine. I didn't want to give the laundry because of <sighs> I can't imagine the laundry man thinking it's my blood because I hate blood. I hate cleaning blood. That was the first time. I had to clean blood guys if you ever stain your sheets with any type of blood period blood any blood on your white sheets or any other type of material but this is white sheets mainly use hydrogen peroxide I had to google I had to go deep down the google hole read it read it, whatever and check it so I had to to do that soak it in baking soda vinegar disinfect it because it was disgusting oh my god and he made actually me lose the hope of that dream but i've had really good stories with her other airbnb host if you want that story time it will be on another video because this video is already long so let me finish my makeup if you enjoyed this kind of videos let me know if you want more story times let me know okay so actually my leave my makeup because i don't i can't wait to dust for long so guys we, we are back that's my makeup mm -hmm. I afraid to use that trick of using red lipstick as your blusher tell me guys what you think it's how my makeup is looking how am I looking guys am I looking like a clown so yeah the lipstick I know people will ask me The lipstick is Griselda and it's actually finished by Fenty Beauty. Madame Moiselle, Madame Moiselle, Madame Moiselle Griselda. I wanted to use Me So Me by Mac here. Let me know. Should I do it? I don't know. Let me just rock this look. So, I'm actually going nowhere. Apart from the life we are going to do with you guys. So this the week this week has been through a lot. It's a twenty eight from a, a week I did with collaboration I did a few weeks ago. It sheds a lot. So guys my thing is if you're buying a wig don't buy a wig that is deep hold because it's a lot of work a lot of maintenance i just put on olive extra coconut oil pure coconut oil from the video i did and that's how we look i'm actually going no so i'm not gonna unbraid it that's why i've just con roid what this french i don't so to do so I'm gonna be doing lots of TikTok. Follow me on TikTok. That's the makeup look right now. And oh, for the eyeshadow, I use this makeup forever. Uh, professional Paris, and I used mostly this shade and this shade. 
and this shade yes so i use these two and this to get this look that's how i'm looking and if you're a company and you're watching this and you want to send me pr or you want to collaborate with me email is here mm -hmm. yeah so don't go forget to like comment and subscribe that's my story by the way because i'm in nairobi right now so yeah don't forget to like comment and subscribe and let me know down below what has been your horror story if you are a horse let me know down below and yeah that's my look how do i look this is a chit chat kind of get ready with me if you like this kind of videos of me doing makeup guys of course and i'm going nowhere i'm just doing a live i have a live right there i'll be doing live maybe friday or saturday let me know let me know in the comment section down below but probably saturday no saturday or sunday we'll see i'm planning to be really consistent here on youtube so see you on my live see you on my live i'm going on a live right now to talk about real things i've been through a lot i can't look like a snail okay and follow me on tiktok guys i have a hundred subscribers to a thousand a hundred followers to reach my thousand goal my goal this month is to reach a thousand on tiktok so follow me there i'm gonna be doing a lot of tiktoks right now bye